more circle is used to see the effect um, from a multiple uh, types of stresses. Uh, for example, um, if you have a stress, normal stress in the x-axis, normal stress in the y-axis, if you ha also have the uh, shear stress in the x-y plane, so tau xy is the shear stress on xy plane, then how do you calculate the combined effect of all of the shear and normal stresses? So, Mohr circle is the one of the easiest and convenient and that's why it's the most popular way to calculate the combined effect from these multiple normal and shear stresses. So it's very simple, just do some steps. Number one step is to define the, um, how do you, to draw the Mohr circle, we have to uh, plot these um, the stresses in an axis. So use the normal stress uh, in the horizontal axis and then the uh, shear stress in the vertical axis. And then plot these values. So you have two points here. On the x fax, you have uh, the sigma x, and then tau xy and the y face you have sigma y and tau xy let's assume that this is the point a this is point b and then you plot these two on the circle now there are some plus minus positive negative conventions for that um, tensile is positive compressive is negative and counterclockwise is negative which is kind of unusual if you compare to the moment. Um, so clockwise shear stress is considered positive in Mohr circle. And this is pretty standard, so don't just change these signs. Use tensile positive, compressive negative, counterclockwise shear stress negative, clockwise shear stress positive. So then once we plot this AB, if you look at this case, um, at A phase, we have a tensile stress, which is positive, and then the um, shear is a counterclockwise, so that's negative. So you go, you start from here, this zero point, and then you go there, 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 so that's my sigma x, and then go down to uh, that point tau amount tau x y amount so this point is sigma x and then tau x y like that and then you can also plot this b as sigma y and then tau x y so you can see that sigma y is positive tensile and on the y face you have this um, uh, shear stress which is clockwise Clockwise shear stress is considered positive. That's why it goes up to sigma y and then go there like that. So you did that in diameter. Now, how do you calculate the center location? So this is what we need to find out. Um, now, we know this distance, which is sigma y. So that's sigma y. And that's sigma x. Now, as you can see this triangle, because this is the diameter, so this distance and this distance are the same. If you compare these two, this triangle and this triangle, we can say that this distance is same as this distance. Now, so we know this sigma y is up to this. And then this we can calculate the sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2. So the that's the total of this and divide by 2 would be this mass. So this is the formula I have used. Simply it's the average stress. So if you just solve for so you can sigma y minus sigma y by 2 so you will have a uh, plus sigma y by 2. So you got sigma x by 2 plus sigma y by 2. So that's what you get for the center location. So as you know the center location, then the radius, we know the center location, uh, this distance from the origin. So we know that distance, which is the average. And then we also know this distance, which is sigma y. So we can say 
this will be sigma average minus sigma y so by the Pythagorean we can do this is square so if I think about this this is C this B let's say this point is E so from that BCE triangle we can say that CE is square plus BE square that will be BC which is our radius BC square so this is what I have written so that's how we get the radius and then the principal stress which is the maximum um, normal stress on the Mohr circle and the minimum normal stress which can be calculated so because we know the center location you can simply add the radius to get the max and subtract the radius to get the mean and then shear stress is basically the radius because this the center of the Mohr circle lies on this horizontal axis so the maximum shear stress is the radius of the Mohr circle